Bitcoin has been absolutely boring. Let's see. <laughs> for six damn months, $60,000 for the love of God. Will September, will September bring something new, please? The Bitcoin people, if you're watching, CEO of Bitcoin, I call on you. Hola! It's your boy, Big Rob, back in the house. Welcome to Sin City Crypto. But why? Because the markets collapse. Exactly! So, so the markets so, are not so, collapsing. We're at all time high. My point exactly. So the markets are not collapsing. You keep saying my point exactly, but you're saying different things. No, Man, you're what the hell? Exactly. Imagine what happens when they cut rates. If we're already going up and you cut rates, imagine the, what's no, going to happen. You literally plus the no Plus the, the Bitcoin cycle. Oh, what do you mean? I have no idea. You have no idea. And they were so frustrated that they decided, well, we're just going to create our own boutique coin. Like, we're going to we're gonna do our own thing. And then finally, they're just like, well, let's just use Casper. What can Cardano do that no one else will be able to do? It's an exponential technology. So it doesn't matter if you have a million users or 50 users. If I have 30,000 people, that's a million transactions per second that's occurring, right? right. Is in October... We're, we're actually going to up the ante a little bit. Very few cryptocurrencies kind of think you know, with this level of parallelization and, and uh, nuance. And that's the magic of Cardano. We design things up front the right way. We've seen other blockchains. I'm not going to name them. Um, but when they see an influx of users, an influx of transactions, the network either struggles or it out, outright goes down. How has the internet computer on a protocol level, how has it performed? Is it everything you expected? Uh, are there any issues you guys are seeing or is this thing like, is that all you got? Did want to give a little love to the chat. I uh, did see some uh, new faces. We got a lot of uh, lurkers Sorry, that haven't said no, anything. Go ahead, Robert. Yeah, go ahead. A, lot, a lot of lurkers that haven't said anything. People say, you know, we don't need, you know, Bitcoin doesn't need uh, one party to win. Bitcoin doesn't need politics. Bitcoin doesn't need Trump to win. Yeah, the network is still going to run just fine, regardless of who wins. Like, the, But if you're looking at Rice. I would like to get an update on where we're at with KRC, Casplex, and then the big crescendo hard fork. Casplex is a protocol to let you make tokens on Caspa. Tether would be the more likely household name that we, we would be able to get going first. I think so because retail really isn't even here yet. Yeah. And so all this happened from the crypto degens that were already here as institutions pushed up the Bitcoin price and the, and the blue chips meme coins went crazy and if you look at the social metrics for youtubers for twitter accounts retail's not here compared to 2021 so. amen to that man i feel like i'm in a uh, room of of legends and and then i'm just kind of uh feeling a little out of place so you are the legend a couple of the alts i'm looking at i think chain link's a great pickup <laughs> chain link is down four percent at eleven dollars oh, i was looking at this yesterday and it brought me back to a time earlier this year where you were just so convinced that Chainlink was going to outperform everything, Bitcoin, every alt on the planet. It was going to outperform your wife. It was going to do everything. Magic, welcome back to the show, my friend. It's Tuesday, so we got Magic joining us. We miss you. How you been? From 11,300, its first leg up was a 70% move to 19, okay? Then we saw a sharp sell-off. This was around a 9% candle. So like when I see this, I think this is this this is great for the people that are watching this show right now. But I think since some other end is actually a good sign. Because if you go even early in the day, before to buy something like they were exchanged like Bitrex, uh, Polynex, these things are gone. And I'm gonna say, yeah, the narratives are a lot stronger with Bitcoin right now. There's a lot more being built on Bitcoin. Is this the SEC capitulating here on, on Ethereum? Yeah, honestly, we were the, the week before we were talking, I was like in the process of potentially writing a note to even lower the odds from 20, <laughs> 25 uh, down to 10 or 15. Bitcoin's down, but my hope is up. Speaking of sexy, did you see uh, Iggy as the Ayla at the... Uh, she's sexy? I mean, parts of her are sexy. Parts of her? What, what, what are you going to... He's like, well, the... I cut off her leg. I kept this one. The rest, I just threw it in the river. You know, honestly, we're going to find out. Also, I'm out of money. If anyone can provide me a loan, I will gladly pay you the LIBOR rate plus 20%. Anyways, thank you all so much, Rocco. A little too early, but that's okay. We'll work on it. That's okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you had an amazing time. It was a great show today. Come back tomorrow for an even better show. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. Peace.
dough. Everybody know we here for entertainment and info. Gonna show you how to get that big dough. So every day stay tapped in for big facts, no capping. With Bitcoin, if you in, then you win. We divide the pie with no fraction. It's Big Rob, David. I split the game, but they gave it. Name the coin that's your favorite. I got dry powder, why save it? To the OGs, new beginners. Special shout out to the well members. Buy a dip, sell winners. Ain't really nothing you can tell, Sin. 